Concern for Animals has been part of the Olympia community for over 40 years now. This is our anniversary year. A lot of people still don't know we exist and we're doing our best to get the word out about what we do here and, and expand it to more people. The food bank itself, um, you have to be part of Thurston, Mason or Lewis County. Receive food stamps, TANF, housing assistance, WIC, SSD, SSI, or if you're unemployed as a result of the COVID situation, that has uh, made a lot of people reach out to us for assistance, and that will continue until that whole situation is resolved. For those that qualify for food bank, they can come up to six times a year, uh, once a month, and we issue food depending on how many pets they have, the size of the pets, and um, then we also give out other um, items that they request or that we have available. Cats and dogs are not the only animals that we have food for. Um, we do get donations for hamsters, rabbits, gerbils, birds and also chickens and we do give out quite a bit of chicken food because several of our clients do have chickens so we have quite a wide selection of foods available. We also give out um, other items for people who need them. We have dog beds, cat beds, leashes, collars, lots of toys, harnesses. We do have a small selection of crates that are available as well and we do our best to, to get this out into the community. Another part of our food bank program is working with Meals on Wheels and Senior Services. Every two months they provide us with a list of people who have pets and we put packages together that goes out to them. One of their volunteers comes here, picks it up and then delivers it with their regular food. It's a very valuable resource to the senior community and if you know anyone who is in need in that situation they should just contact senior services and ask to be put onto the program and then they will be included. If you would like to donate anything that uh, we can put out at our food bank we will take any food, any can, Dog treats, cat treats, could really do with cat treats. That's not something that gets donated a lot and it would be nice to have a few more to pass out. Um, opened bags we take, we also take prescription foods. We do not give it out, but we then pass it on to Old Dog Haven and Kitty Cat Haven. and have been doing that for quite a while now. Finally, I'd like to thank everyone who has supported Concern for Animals over the years. We could not do this without your help and it's very much needed in the community. If you know anyone who needs assistance, tell them to contact us and we'll see what we can do. We're here to help and we have the resources, um, thanks to everyone, to pass out food and other, uh, other assistance as needed. So please let us know if we can help.